Yo YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the Jeep and Daily channel. We are hopping in the TJ4. I can't turn the camera around with my phone. Are you recording? We are going to attempt to put 33s on the TJ. So we're gonna pull the TJ one bay, pull the XJ into the other bay, put 30, two of the 33s on the front because that's where it sits lower. And that should give me my answer to whether or not it's going to be drivable for a week. I'm not going to off-road it, but we're not going to put a lift on it. We're just going to try stuff in the 33s on it for now. And then the 245s are going on to the, T or the XJ. And hopefully the 33s fit because I want the 33s on this. Jeep number uno in the shop. This is not the green XJ we want. We want the one with the snorkel and the five speed all the way down yonder. It's been a week, so how about a cold start? <laughs> Getting the TJ wheels so it can pass an inspection so the kid can get a title for it. It is also the same guy with the red Chevy Blazer, if you guys have seen that on the channel before when we went to Roush Creek. I always forget how bad this clutch is. Tiny orange one going up. We need enough room for the 33s. Uh, that should be good. Now to line this one up. Now time for the big green one. got to be very careful with these wheels because we don't want these ones getting messed up. Those ones can get beat. These ones got to look nice. Woo. All right, so this looks goofy because of the stock tire, but I think this thing would look great with the big tire and those wheels. And then just look at this TJ. <laughs> it looks so good. Oh, I hope these fit. Because you know what? If they don't fit, I'm taking some, I don't even know, and trimming the fender flare. But we got, well, I'm going to skip the next part, the next wheel part, and lower this down. Ah, it looks so good. All right, moment of truth. It settles. Let's Yes! Dude, look at all that space! Oh, we're good! Oh, we're so good! Oh! Oh, we're so good! Yes! Yes, we're gonna be driving around on 33s for the next week. Whoa! Why for the only a week? Because they gotta go back on my XJ because we're taking this orange one that green one and that green one off-road next weekend Woo! i'm so excited that the 33s fit baby i'm not excited to swap the rest of them though all right so for multiple reasons i'm gonna leave the stock rubicon wheel and tire on the back and leave the 33 on that xj for now but i mean we're gonna pull it outside it's getting dark though but while there's still light in here, like, oh, what do you guys think? This thing looks mean. My brother just measured from here to here is about two and a half inches. And in the rear, top to bottom, 
this is almost a four inch gap. Now we do have to turn still, but if you look at that, I don't see it rubbing. I don't think it's gonna rub when we turn. <laughs> Maybe when we turn the inside of the wheel might rub the control arm, but that's what we're gonna have to find out when we get to it for now. We gotta put the tiny boys on the XJ. So, if you guys are local to the Lancaster County, Pennsylvania area, if you have a decent set of tires for a 16 inch rim that range from, I'd say a 32 to a 35, let me know, get in contact with me. I don't have a lot of money I got. After bills come out, I'm gonna have about $200 in my freaking account this week. Um, if you guys did not know, me and my, my girlfriend and I, we just moved, blah, 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 blah. But, so if you got a nice set of tires or a decent set that I can throw on for the off-road Jeep, let me know, preferably, a, well, it needs to be a 16 inch uh, wheel. I'm not buying any wheels, I just want tires. I want these Rubicon wheels on the XJ, but anything from a 32 to a 35, get in contact with me at jeepin underscore daily on Instagram. Let me know what you guys have. I'm looking for a really good deal. If you hook me up really well, or if you hook me up at all too, I'll give you guys a shout out on the Instagram and the YouTube. What's up with it though? But we have to get the stalkers back on this one, park it at the back of the lot for the next week and take that thing home. Look how mean she is. And because somebody might question it, it's my brother. This is XJ, welded rear, open front. He's got about four grand in it. What he's doing right now though, is he just bought a set of upper and lower adjustable control arms. So his Jeep's looking a little fresher than this one with its fixed lowers and stock uppers. But mine still has a five speed, so we're winning there. Mine's bigger. Three inches in the front? Uh, five. No. Tonight. Uh, right now it's not. Follow him on Instagram too while we're at it. Hold on, we'll show you show you the stickers. Boom. Right there. <clears throat> well, if you wanted to know what stock tires on a four and a half, five inch lift looks like, there you are. Oh. all my xj boys look at that <laughs> uh, i've always wanted these wheels for the xj i just can never find a set of these wheels alone in my price range and then once i bought the rubicon i was like man those wheels are going straight on that and you know what with bigger tires it would look good it actually doesn't look too bad now on camera at least it looks terrible in person now that i look at it but looking at it through the phone screen it looks decent this thing man a beast <clears throat> i need to check clearance first <clears throat> we are so good and with the stock flares man just enough poke to still be legal we're gonna take the XJ out to where it's gonna sit for another week. And then we're gonna get back in this thing. All right, YouTube. So if you are here because you wanna know if 33s will fit on your stock Jeep TJ, there's your answer. Now these wheels are aftermarket. They do have poke to it, obviously. I don't know the um, exact, what? Whatever he said, that might that might be correct. These wheels are Pro Comp 252 Street Series, so it's not an actual beadlock. It looks like a beadlock though. Um, saves a lot of money for the look, especially because I don't think I do that big or much serious off-roading to where I need to have my tires down to three PSI, which in return you lose ground clearance anyways. Um, so, like I said, 33s do fit. You're gonna wanna get yourself some spacers or something with a back spacing. So 
it doesn't rub any of the control arms or anything on the inside of the body. Now, I haven't driven yet, but just by looking at it, I don't believe it's going to rub. If it does rub, you will know about it. I will tell you guys. Before we end off this video, I would like to say check out the Instagram names in the description below. Those are the people that have helped me a lot building the YouTube channel, building the Jeeps. Just the people that have helped me through the way of this YouTube lifespan. Their Instagrams are down below. I'd really appreciate it if you go follow them and give my channel or my Instagram page a follow. But if you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. You're gonna wanna stay up to date because this Jeep is going to need a lift so these tires do not rub off road. And like I said, we are going off road next weekend not at an off-road park don't want to really say where we're going quite yet but we're going off-road next weekend with this so the 33s are only a temporary look for the next week but man i'm just freaking happy all right i'm rambling on i'm talking a lot i will see you guys in the next upload which will be a video i took two weeks ago which i didn't upload yet it's about the throttle body we got that situation kind of squared away, so be looking for that within the upcoming week and the next weekend or next week. Look out for, or two weeks from now, sorry, next weekend slash two weeks from now. Look out for that. Look out for that. Look out for the off-road video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this was helpful to my Wrangler friends out there. Peace out, guys. I will see you next video.